Hello, everyone. I'm Zixuan Yuan from Rogers Data Mining Group. My advisor is Professor Hui Xiong from Rogers University. And our other collaborators are Hao Liu from Baidu Research, Xun Liu from City University of Hong Kong, Yan Shi Liu from uh, Rogers University, Yang Yang from Nanjing University of Science and Technology, and Ren Junhu from Beihang University. Today, I'm going to talk about my uh, intern project at Baidu Research last summer. The topic is the incremental spatial temporal graph learning for online query POI matching. Here's the outline for my talk today. First, I will introduce the background and the motivation of our problem. Then we will dive into the details of our pr proposed uh, framework, uh, which is followed by the incre uh, experimental results and finally conclusion. In many location-based services, such as ride hailing service and online map application, they tend to provide an essential fun function to help users to locate the, the desired destinations. Uh, in other words, they are trying to help users to match a query with point of interest that is POIs for efficient destination retrieval. Therefore, our goal is to find out all possible POI candidates for recommendation uh, based on query words, timestamp, query locations, and the user information. However, there exist three primary challenges uh, before we can achieve this goal. Uh, the first one is related to dynamic spatial temporal correlation, as can, be, as can be seen in figure 1b, which summarizes the distribution of the user chosen POIs in three representative places in Beijing. The, the, uh, the actually is uh, actually is such a category distribution differs uh, significantly under different spatial temporal contexts, which renders it quite challenging to integrate such dynamic information during online query POI matching. And second one uh, is non-stationary. The second challenge is uh, non-stationary preference drift. Uh, the the uh, in fact the relevance is between queries and POIs are non-stationary and uh, uh, keep drifting over time. And uh, uh, figure C, uh, figure 2C just shows that the uh, user preference on POI candidates of corresponding query keywords is just uh, changing over time without significant recurrent patterns. And one possible solution is to utilize the uh, uh, social home fully for user uh, behavior modeling. However, it still remains uh, unexplored about how to integrate social home fully while preserving individual preference in the online acquired POI matching scenario. And the third one uh, is related to the online learning efficiency. Uh, it, it basically poses a challenge to capture such uh, time shifting user preference and the dynamic uh, contextual information from numerous streaming query logs in the online fashion, uh, uh, probably because most of the uh, existing methods are still requires uh, the periodic retrainings from scratches. Regarding the previous studies that belongs to uh, deep neural network in semantic matching, the deep learning based methods such as DSSM based models have been firstly introduced for search and retrieval systems by learning more effective representations for both queries and items. Uh, based on SS, uh, DSSM, um, PARM further models uh, the static ge uh, geographical correlations between uh, query and POI pair. And most recently, uh, STGAT is proposed to incorporate user preferences and uh, 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 spatial temporal information for uh, query POI matching. Uh, compare with these methods, our proposed framework uh, in CRE-STGL uh, can literally free the underlying model uh, from, being uh, from being retrained periodically as well as providing the high uh, quality personalized query POI matching services under the online environment. And figure one just uh, presents an overview of our proposed model, uh, our proposed framework, uh, INCRE STG, uh, STGL, 
which basically consists of uh, three major parts. The, the representation initialization module, uh, the incremental graph representation learning module, and the query POI matching module. In the representation initialization module, there are two kinds of input data. First, uh, for each map query event, we just extract the five types of input situational features and project them to, into the uh, low dimensional dense vectors, which can actually preserve the latent semantic correlations among these uh, input features. And secondly, we're, we're going to create two types of query POI uh, interaction graphs, uh, which are called macroscopic and microscopic graphs, as shown in figure two. The general idea is to reflect the, uh, the click frequency of POI uh, queries uh, from, both, uh, from both all users and the individual users uh, in terms of uh, adjacent metrics and the query uh, vectors, uh, respectively. And here, the, and here the query, uh, query frequency can also be considered as the user query preferences. To incrementally model the user's shifting uh, query preferences, the incremental graph representation learning module uh, is then proposed with three uh, important components. The first one, uh, con contextual graph attention, aims to update the query vectors in both macro and micro uh, graphs by considering the past similar query events. Say for instance, given a uh, new incoming query, the master POIs of the uh, historical uh, queries that possess a similar situational context tend to be recommended by allocating a high, uh, higher uh, query POI edge weight through the underlying uh, contextual attention function. As shown in figure four, since the graph edge can indicate the proximity between each query POI pair, uh, the graph discrimination operation is then proposed to incorporate the social effect and personalize the preference by capturing the non-stationary and drifting user preferences. Due to the space limit, here we only show the uh, common structure learning and basically the, the distinctive uh, structure learning have a quite similar mechanism. Uh, and intuitive method um, of, uh, of for, the, for the graph discrimination is to linearly compare the similarities and the dif differences between any of the two graphs. Uh, but still, but it still suffers from two major weaknesses. First, it may aggravate the sparsity issue of extracted graphs. And secondly, the extremely high dimensional uh, adjacent metrics uh, will produce uh, tremendous unnecessary parameters, which uh, which does burning, which is burn burden the model tr training efficiency. To this end, uh, such graph discrimination um, is designed to de adopt uh, an encoder decoder architecture, which can learn the low dimensional latent representations uh, for each of the linearly compared graph, and this uh, auto encoder. It's actually pre-trained by the objective function, uh, which aims to minimize the dissimil uh, dissimilarity between original graphs and reconstructed ones. Afterwards, we notice that the abstracted rela uh, representations by each layer in the autoencoder usually contains information in different gran granularity. Therefore, we introduce H plus one fully connect layers to transform the latent feature implementations uh, in each layer and aggregate them uh, via an attention operation, uh, which is called evolve attention to, to derive the final representations for the common structured adjacent metrics. Uh, later, uh, we, or we propose a multi-level uh, uh, temporal attention, which consists of two hierarchical units uh, where, incre where uh, intra-temporal attention uh, is used to aggregate uh, user preference variation in both common structure and distinctive structure adjacent metrics within, within each time period 
and the intertemporal attention uh, may integrate user preference variation variations along the timeline, and then finally output the uh, unitary graph structure. Finally, we present the semantic function to refine the obtained adjacent matrices matrix uh, with semantic information. Specifically, uh, this semantic function is designed to leverage the uh, adjacent matrix of query QI graphs as input, where uh, each edge is, is weighted by the semantic similarity between query PI uh, via the uh, Gauss-taught Gauss pattern matching uh, algorithms. After finalizing the learned uh, graph structural representation of corresponding queries and POIs, we adopt, uh, we adopt the following simple yet effective function to calculate the relevance uh, between the query Q and the POI candidate P. Uh, our model aims to uh, minimize the error of estimated similarity score. We, will employ, we also employ the uh, negative sampling uh, for training sets augmentations, um, such that for uh, each query POI pair, we randomly select four unclicked semantically similar POIs as, as negative samples and try to move the embeddings of POI uh, embeddings of queries far from far away from the ones of POIs. Re regarding the model complexity, we claim that the incremental graph representation learning module is computational efficient from three aspects. First, uh, con uh, contextual attention only considers the situational information, uh, macro and uh, micro graphs in the most uh, recent period. And secondly, uh, graph autoencoder simply produces the latest uh, um, co uh, common structure and uh, distinctive structure adjacent metrics without periodic retraining. And uh, thirdly, the multi-level temporal tension for the computes the latest uh, temporal adjacent metrics without considering the far past history. In the experiments, we use two real-world large datasets, um, Beijing and Shanghai from Baidu Maps to evaluate our model. And we also used uh, both heat ratio and NDCG as uh, the performance metrics. Uh, and as you can be seen in table one, we tested the overall performance based on these two metrics. And the experimental results demonstrate high um, prediction accuracy of our model in both datasets and the low p-value can just uh, represent the uh, significance of model improvements compared to other baseline. Uh, we further evaluate our model based on uh, user groups with different query frequencies and the online uh, scenarios. The improved performances are separately reported in uh, figure six and figure seven where we find in increased STG, STGL display high uh, training efficiency and low model latency and become more robust uh, in facing different user groups. Uh, and, uh, and furthermore, uh, figure eight demonstrate uh, the parameters and insensitivity of our model. In summary, the, our proposed uh, increase uh, STGL is capable of jointly modeling dynamic situational context and the user's historical sequential behaviors for, for intelligent online query POI matching. And extensive experiments uh, further demonstrate our uh, demonstrate the eff efficiencies and the uh, um, effectiveness of our models uh, for the online query POI matching problems. Uh, that's all. Thank you for your listening.